Hi, I've been getting quite a few questions about very basic things in Comfy Eye, although most of my videos aren't sort of um, beginners. But I thought I'd do some very quick, short videos to cover the absolute basics. So, so I'll put the workflow below, and if you just drag and drop the JSON file into here, you will get this. You might get some. Uh, you shouldn't get any missing nodes. I'm not using any fancy nodes here at all. You need to load the checkpoint, find the checkpoint, which is on Civitas, and put that in your models folder. Uh, I'm not going to go through that in this video. This is just showing you how image to image works. Very simple. So once you've got this like so, then you put an image in your, so we'll choose oh, quite a random image, I think. So here's our image, and you just click on this and, and choose the image. So we could, then we want to say what we want. So uh, we want to make a change in her. So what if we say uh, she's a tough punk girl, black leather jacket. And where should we put her? Should we put her um, graffiti wall? That should put a wall behind her, we'll see. So. And I put nothing in uh, in here. Uh, so what we do, we'll generate on that, and all these settings when you load the JSON in should be like this. So leave them alone for now. You can learn how to fiddle with these later. This is just the absolute basics. So we queue that prompt, and when you see them come up red like this, it means that they want a connection. Do you see this? These two red bits here. Because I forgot to put the clip in. But the clip goes in like that, so it should be fine now. First of all, the model loads over here, which will take a couple of moments, uh, depending on, on the, how fast your machine is. Then it looks at the clip, then the scheduler sends, tells the sampler uh, how many steps it's going to be and, uh, and something else, the denoise, which we'll talk about in a moment. This is the encoder, this is encoding this image and sending it to the sampler. And now the sampler will process it. You'll get a green line running across the top. If you have a super fast computer, it'll go across very quickly, but I don't, so it won't. <laughs> and here's our image back, and it bears absolutely no relation to the image we put in. And there's a reason for this, and that's this number here. In, I'm gonna zoom in a bit. So this number here, if it's at one, it's ignoring this image entirely. It's just doing text to image on this. At halfway, at 0.5, it's doing half this image and half the prompt. So if we run that again, we'll see the difference. And here you see the difference. She's now got the same pose, got, got our graffiti wall, and she, you can see that She's taken the pose from there and she's got a, a jacket where that coat is. Now, we asked for a black jacket, didn't we? So, but nonetheless, you can see that this image has had a lot of influence on this. If you want it to be a painting, you can put some sort of painting style. It doesn't really matter what, uh, what, 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 what sort of illustration we should do. Should we do concept illustration? And we run that at the same at, at 0.5. So there you see that back, and look at how it's changed. And that's just by putting two words in, concept illustration. And that brings us to another number you can play with. This is called the noise seed, and it determines the random noise that the sampler starts with. So the sampler starts with a patch of random noise, and this number will always produce the same patch of noise, and if you use this number, it will always produce this image. So if I change this number just by one, and we'll run it again. So you see the difference. Um, this is just changing that number. So that number, just with one digit difference, has made a different patch of noise, which has produced a different image. So now we can look at, an, at another number here. And this is the number of steps. So I was doing 10 steps, but if what is it like if we just do one step? Let's do one step. 
So here you see, that's just one step. You can see the image has got lots of, lots of things wrong with it. So if we do three steps, that's what we get with three steps, which is almost as good as our final image. And you gain less and less quality with each step. It does improve in quality. So if we did five, and of course it's quicker with the fewer steps. And you'll find that different, uh, d you, sometimes you can do five, sometimes it takes more. So you see that was a, an improvement again, but less of an improvement. And so it goes on. The, the step improvement decreases as you go up. But some, some, for some things you need to go up to 10 steps. So that's denoise. Now, if we go up eight steps, if we increase our denoise to 75, that tells the sampler it can change this image more. So the higher you go on this number, the less like this image, this image will be. And if you have it on zero, it will just give you this image. So it's a, it's a scale from this all the way through to an image that has nothing to do with this. So we'll run that at 75 so you can see the difference. The number here is the same. And you'll notice that this image has got a little bit more like the one we got the first time round. So it's gone further away from this, but we still have the angle. And notice that we now have our black leather jacket. And uh, one more thing I'll go through very briefly is this one, which people call the negative frog, which, which it isn't really. I'll show you what it it might be useful for. It, it may not work. So we go back to 0 0.5 and we want a black jacket and it's giving us a blue jacket. So what we might put in here is something we don't want. So we could put in blue. So we'll do that and see if we get a black jacket. There we go. No black jacket. It hasn't worked. So if we go up to 60, or oh, let's go to 55. And you see it still hasn't done it. And this tells you something about the negative prompt. It's not a negative prompt. Uh, it's not what it does. Uh, this prompt here is merely to act as a base from the, which this one is compared. So this prompt is compared with this one and uh, the generation is made. So people who put lots of stuff in there, bad hands, good teeth, etc. We put red hair in. Let's see if the red hair goes away. And you see, it does have a little bit of an effect, but it doesn't have a great deal of effect. And you don't want to put lots of words in there because the more words you put in there, the less effect they have. OK, that's it for this video. I'll do another one going into how the prompting works uh, next, I think. But that's it for this one. I hope it was useful. Uh, I'm trying to keep these as short as possible.